you don't realize just what you're doing to yourself until you start exploring um, how others experience their life and what you would rather want as well. Um, so now that after, um, well now years of being willing to practice, uh, allowing myself to feel the emotion and to release the emotional charge and the energy, through that comes the awareness and the understanding of how I was affected by the traumas, the experiences, the patterns that I experienced. And that's all I can do is understand what I, what I went through, how it affected me, how that um, affected the way I related to my emotions, to thoughts, to how I perceived life, um, how I perceived, right, depending on the traumas in relationship to money, um, authority, support, love, uh, one's place in the world, how one gets there, um, how one relates to others, what others mean, the different ways to view and judge others, how one um, looks at others and their relationships and what that means to this, to the person, you know, through whether it's comparison or analyzing or judgments, different skin colors, different classes, different skill levels, different attractiveness levels, all those things, and how we each uniquely, because I don't really don't know what anyone else, how they see things, all the layers they're experiencing at once, and how many of those layers are unconscious to them, just like I have no idea how many layers of my experience was not um, lucid to me in how I operated in childhood, in teenage years, in my 20s, etc. So now it's realizing it's really about letting myself to hold, recognize the space I'm holding for myself, to be willing to hold the space of allowing myself to feel energy, the emotions that come up, the emotions that happens when life happens. And as I like a practice, like just awareness, right? The basis of it. And then um, the practice of say certain, all sorts of different meditations and cultivations, what have you, they allow, have supported me to allow myself to feel my body and therefore release the energy and the emotions and through that comes the greater awareness of myself of what I went through of my choices of where I was at choice how I was choosing how I was at choice and to realize now I have choice and that was the past it doesn't exist anymore I'm dealing with memories of it and memories are very um, unreliable in many ways so it's just simply allowing myself to release the energy, the resistance, through gain the awareness. Through the awareness, I can have compassion for myself to know the value of, to, well, compassion, the root word is really to suffer with. So to be able to um, really be with myself through challenges that happen in day to day, in every day that happens, will continue to happen. Uh, for all of us challenges that come up that bring up emotions but if I don't resist the emotions and bury more into myself then I can uh, allow it to pass through the awareness of my past patterns and what I would rather want then I can choose something differently for the moment and what it come what is coming to me and what will continue to come to me and therefore yeah it's just that willingness to practice and there's so many forms to practice and they're all valuable but uh, we can probably use all use a different combination of all those different you know, whatever it may be, learning, reading, uh, classes, career changes, you know, physical yogas and uh, cultivations, practices, you know, mental, emotional practices, seminars, workshops, coaching, guidance, healing, um, all these different therapies out there. It's, everything is valid, but we can each benefit from exploring for ourselves and be our own health advocate, our own mental health advocate, our own spiritual health advocate, and um, etc. So. Yeah, I just wanted to quickly um, express that as it, I'm um, realizing, um, you know, I've been doing my work at allowing myself to be, to just be, and be me, and to learn to love myself, to learn to choose what is good for me, what is healthy, what is joyful, what is um, peaceful, and I get to help others. And the more I learn about others and their stories, I realize uh, through that and and holding space, I realize the less I judge myself, the more I'm able to not judge others. And the greater space I hold for myself, the more capable I'm holding space for others. And I believe that's all of us, because we are made of love. So once I hold greater space, love can arise, because that's what we all are. Love you all.